you ready? Are you ready? Oh, are you ready to go? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to go? Hello, it's Mr. T here with a tutorial on using uh, Microsoft Excel to analyze data and to fit a regression function to a set of data and to plot both a scatter plot of our original data and the trend line and then be able to paste that into say a lab report done in Google Documents. So I've created say a prototype or temporary uh, lab report and we collected data in this particular thing we were comparing the mass of some object and its value and we collected this data here and some of the things that we would like to do with this data is create a model or an equation that would model that data and could be used to say predict other values for different masses and we would like to also graphically present this data in a scatter plot uh, with an overlay of our model. And then we could use the model to say estimate what would be the value if the mass was in kilograms. Now in an earlier lab report we used Google Spreadsheet for doing some scatter reports, scatter plots. But uh, Google Spreadsheets at this point is missing a key feature and that is to do regression and trend lines. So I'm going to use Microsoft Excel for this. I've created a spreadsheet and I've entered the data from the previous chart. So I've created a column with a title heading called Mass and one called Value and I put on here Actual Value so that in my chart we can distinguish between the actual data collected and our model. And so I've entered that data. Hopefully you know how to Enter data, you just click in the cells and type. Now, to do the regression analysis, we need to first create a scatter plot. So, to create a scatter plot, we, I'm going to click down. So, I'm clicking now and holding the button down and drag to highlight our set of data. And then we're going to go to insert and we want to insert a uh, scatter chart. Now this is Microsoft uh, 2007 so if you have a different version of Microsoft the menus might be different so we're going to create a scatter plot and we can see our data here right now with the default settings. We'll make some uh, tuning up of this chart in a minute now the first thing I want to do is determine what kind of curve fits this data so I'm going to put my mouse over any of these data points and I'm going to right click on the data and select add a trend line. So I'm clicking on add a trend line. Now by default, I'm going to move this over here, by default it is adding a linear regression. Now we want to look at our regression to see which one fits best. Now I want to have it extend that trend line out here because of the data I'm doing. I know this uh, data even is continuing to grow so it's not going to bend down. So I want to make sure none of my uh, trend lines bend down. So I can have it forecast my trend line forward. So I'm going to say go another 10 uh, units forward. So you can see that extended this trend line out. I want to see my uh, equation that's being created, so I'm going to click down here to display the equation of this line. So this is the trend line. And then we can play around with different types of regression. So linear is maybe okay, but it doesn't seem to fit this data all that well. It looks like I see kind of a bend here. Uh, you might know that it's not likely to be an exponential because remember exponential grows rapidly so it may fit okay in here but if we use exponential it's going to if we use it to predict out here grow rapidly and there was no evidence in the data that we were doing that it was going to grow that rapidly let's try polynomial and we'll just use order two quadratic so in this area if we had not extended our uh, 
projection. Let me get rid of this, put this back to zero. Uh, it might look like a really good fit, but if we're going to use that to predict out here, I need to understand what that model is doing. So again, that's why I'm setting this forecast over here ahead. So let's do 10 units. And you can see that it, it's a quadratic. We know it's a parabola. So this is a good fit in here, but not a, so good a fit for out here. So let's try one other. Let's try a power function. And that seems to fit pretty well. So for my data, I'm going to go with the power function for my trend line. So I can close this. Now I want to cut and paste this chart into my lab reports, but before I do that I need to edit a few things. So let's put a, a title. So I'm going to go up here to layout and chart title and I want my title above the chart which is there and I'm going to type in here um, let's call it mass versus value for our title. Whoops, I put that in the wrong place. So let's back up on that. I had the trend line here edited so let me right click on the trend line here to format my trend line and I put it back to the power function. Close that and let me click here onto, I'm just clicking somewhere in the chart. I don't want any of these things highlighted so I clicked over here. So now I'm going to uh, edit the title. Now I can just double click on this title, highlight my text and type in the title I want. Let's call it uh, mass versus value. And I might want some uh, titles for my axis. Now my x-axis is mass and I was measuring that in kilograms so I'm going to go here to layout up here at the top and axis titles, my horizontal axis title I want it below and then we'll put down here mass uh, measured it's, it's going up here and then when I hit enter it will show up on the chart kilograms and this was value in dollars so let's do a axis title vertical axis I'm going to do it rotated so it's going to show up here but I'm going to type it up over here so I want value and that's measured in dollars just hit enter and I want to move my equation over here and maybe I might want to make that text a little bigger so I'm going to double click in this box and highlight my text and I'm going to change it go back to home and change it to a bigger font let's say 12 so now I've got my chart maybe the way I want I've got uh, a legend over here so my dot is are the actual data the line is my projection or my uh, trend and it's using a power uh, regression here and here's my equation so if I want to cut and paste that into my Google Doc I need to select my thing so I have this kind of border and I want to right click on the border so that I get copy so I'm going to click copy and now I'm going to go back to my Google document so I brought up my Google document and I'm going to scroll down and let's say I want to paste that chart right here so I'm going to put my cursor there and I'm going to do control C or I could have done edit paste whoops I didn't get to here let's try there we go I did edit paste and now we've got our chart I could click on it and make it bigger or smaller if I want and so I've got my chart in there now I can't edit, edit this chart and it's not live between uh, Google and Excel so if I go back and exchange my Excel data I'd have to delete this chart and cut and paste a new chart and we're pretty much done we've got our scatter plot and our, our thing we have our model here now let's just our last thing said use the model to estimate the value if the mass was 20 kilograms now we could use our graph to make a rough estimate so if I go up here to 20 and come over it looks like it's maybe 2200 but I could bring my calculator over here and enter my uh, regression model here and I want to put 20 in for X so it's going to be here 
496.33 and then my x value is 20 and I'm raising that to the 0 0.5028 power and we get here about 2238 so the answer to the question here was $2,238 approximately. Now remember this power function, an exponent, this is about one half, and an exponent of one half is approximately a square root. So our mass varies or increases proportionate to the square, I mean, I'm sorry, our value increases proportionately to the square root of x approximately. So anyway, on an upcoming lab, you're going to be have, you're going to be having to do this process. So hopefully this will help you uh, understand how to use Microsoft Excel to get your regression equation and your uh, chart to paste into your lab report. So best of luck. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, are you ready to go? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready?